Okay, good evening and good morning. Now we can start our evening session. As we usually start, we can start with the uh, Metta Sutta. You all can join with us to chant Metta. May all beings be happy and secure. May all, all beings have, have happy minds. minds. Whatever, Whatever living beings there may be, be without, without exception, be it goes from long, large, medium, short, shuttle, brother, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth. May all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world the heart of boundless loving friendliness. Above, below, and all around, unabstracted, without hatred or resentment. Whether standing, walking, or sitting, lying down or awake, one should develop this pulse. This is called divine liberal in not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed vision. Removing desire for simple pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay. Make a com comfortable seats for yourself. Keep your palms together. Keep your body straight. Take a deep and long breath. Let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Again, take a deep and long breath. Let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Again, take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Your body is relaxing, also your mind. Enjoy this relaxation. It's very comfortable happy and peaceful. Your mind is becoming calm, relaxing itself. Determine this is my meditation time. Give this message to your mind thoroughly. Cut off the whole world. Come to this moment. It's very peaceful and happy. Enjoy this moment. You don't have anything in your mind. No worries, no troubles. Your mind is peaceful. Also happy. You can image your own picture in your mind. Imagine your own picture in your mind. You can move your mind head to toes. Moving your mind head to toes generates loving penniness thoughts towards yourself. May I be well 
happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Get these feelings to your mind. You feel happiness. You feel wellness. You feel peacefulness. Loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy and equanimity. All these qualities are developing in your mind. We can extend this loving friendliness thoughts toward others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, May they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful.
all living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this metta development, let's focus to practice on breath, mindfulness of breathing meditation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Pay full attention to your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, 
breathe out when you are breathing breathe in you feel where air is touching might be end of your nostril upper lips or your belly also you feel what is happening with your lungs air is filling with your lungs rising and falling up your belly select at any place where are you familiar keep your mind there watch your natural breath breathe in breathe out mindfully breathe in mindfully breathe out deeply notice your breath nature of your breath sometimes you take short breath sometimes you take long breath sometimes you inhale exhale short breath you exhale long breath be aware whether it is short breath or long breath see your whole process of your breath breathe in breathe out you can see entire entire process of your breath starting point of your breath changing of breath departing of breath breathe in breathe out breathe in and out is a process which is happening with this five aggregates the breath is not me breath is not my breath is not myself the breath is impermanent mindfully breathe in mindfully breathe out your mind is calm and peaceful you are pull aware of your breath inhalation and exhalation focus on your breath practice mindfulness of breathing meditation take your time whenever you notice mind has lost its its meditation object come back and start again mindfully breathe in 
mindfully breathe out.
दुखपता दुख भयपता भया शोक पता शोक हंतु सबे पीपानो मे द सफरिन बी फ्री फ्रॉम सफरिन मे द फेयर स्ट्रक बी फ्री फ्रॉम फेयर मे द ग्रीविंग बी फ्री फ्रॉम ग्रीव सो टू मे ऑल बींस बी साधु 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 thank you very much today we don't have any questions so i would like to start uh to read the sutta discourse uh mahamangala sutta great discourse in blessings normally i mean it's very rare to find uh, dhamma sermons someone giving dhamma talks using these suttas so i would like to start with this this mangala sutta blessing discourse when you are reading any discourse you should keep in your mind very important thing is every discourses delivered by the buddha main point is to show the path to attain enlightenment might be sutta from diganikaya majjhimanikaya sangyukta nikaya anguttara nikaya kuddaka nikaya doesn't matter which nikayas doesn't matter and the length of the discourse is also doesn't matter even one stanza based on noble eight pole path realizing for noble to realize for noble truth this is the main goal main purpose of all these discourses delivered by the buddha mangala sutta delivered by buddha because there was a, a, a situation with uh, among the human beings and the deities could uh, trouble to understand what are the blessings among human beings there was uh, arguments and debates and then finally it's went upon to the celestial beings they also start a debate to find out uh, what are the blessings and then finally some deities came to see the buddha where buddha was dwelling in savatthi anatha pindika's monastery and then approaching to the buddha them they started many deities and humans have pondered on blessings de- uh, desiring their well being tell me the blessings supreme this was the question that made in front of the buddha then this was the buddha's reply to associate not with the foolish to be with the wise to honor the worthy ones this is a blessing supreme to associate not with foolish we are not supposed to associate foolish this fact directly connect with social matters don't associate foolish this is directly social social it belongs to sociology sociological facts don't associate foolish once 
there was a conversation with the Buddha and Bhante Anand. Bhante Anand was telling to Buddha, the Buddha, Venerable Sir, this dispensation, the Buddha's dispensation, depending on half of good friend's influence. Then the Buddha said, Mahevang Anand, Ananda don't say like. Why? Not have hundred percent. Hundred percent this Buddha's dispensation depend on good friends. Good friends are very important in this life. When we when we are talking about good friends, then we might think only the human beings and our friends, regular friends. That's not enough. Our good friends are teachings of, I mean, very important good friends is teachings of the Buddha. At the last moment in his life, addressing monks, Buddha said, after my death, the Dhamma will be the leader of for this my order of Sangha. Dhamma became a, a live thing in that particular explanation. Dhamma became the leader structure for this order that created by the Buddha. So, Dhamma is first that we can meet. Dhamma is our first Kalyanamitta that we can meet. Dhamma. It's very important. Then not to associate foolish. If you, go, if you are associating any foolish, foolish mean who don't have thinking ability, they are foolish. Police mean people who don't have thinking ability. They are police. Very important. Thinking ability. Think to deep and wide and quick. These are the qualities. Who don't have that ability, They cons we consider them as police. If you are associating these kind of people, then you don't have opportunity to develop your spirituality or your mind. You, you, there is no opportunity to develop your concentration. There is no opportunity to develop your path to practice noble eight pole path. Anguttara Nikaya Tikanipata to explain in Tikanipata. Tini mani bikkave bayanu pajanti. Balato bayanu pajanti no panditato. Fear will arise because of foolish. Balato bayanu pajanti no panditato. Fear not coming from, on, uh, fear not created by wise people. Fear in this world. Fear will exist in, in, in this world because of foolish people. Now, if you are living with foolish, if you are, if you are living with foolish people, then you always live in with fear. We practice Dhamma to clean our mind, to clean our mind. I can use a simile for 
you to understand why we are practicing Dhamma. As we know, all we have same goal. That goal is to be happy. That is the main goal that we have. Whatever religions we practice, whatever ethnic group we belong, whatever country we are living, it doesn't matter. We have only one goal. That goal is to be happy. Maintaining this, that, this goal, we practice this Dhamma benefits for this goal, to achieve this goal. Some people who don't know the Dhamma, they have different lifestyle, they have different uh, living style to achieve their happiness. But that happiness, very, very short period can they can uh, experience. After that period, they're going to have more suffering, more troubles in their life. But who are practicing Dhamma, they have opportunity to develop their happiness into sustainable level, into sustainable level. Our happiness is not sustainable because we are living with defilements. We are living with defilements. Who are living with defilements, they can be happy very short time period. They can't manage, they can't maintain that happiness in long time period. Why? The nature of those defilements is always make troubles for our peaceful, happy thoughts. It is a, it is a burial for our happiness. So, foolish people have those kind of qualities with their self, but those are not good qualities. Those are harmful qualities. That's why Buddha said, don't associate foolish. Why? They associate in foolish people, there is no opportunity to develop our inner peace, to develop our happiness. Then someone can, th someone can might think, don't associate police. This is kind of uh, discrimination. This is not kind of discrimination. Don't associate mean. Do, don't associate mean you are not you are not supposed to talk to them. You, you can talk to them if they are living with you. Then sometimes we might have interconnections with each other. Yes, we should maintain that, but we have to be careful. Carefully we have to maintain that relationship, whatever the relationship you have. That police person might be your mother, might be your father, might be your brother, might be your sister, might be your son or daughter, might be your neighbor, might be your good friend or co-worker. We don't know who is, but they might have those police, uh, policeness with them. Then when you are living with them, when you are associating them, we have to handle very carefully. We have to be mindful all the time. This is the meaning. There is a, the hidden thing is living in the society each and every time you have to be mindful because not to associate police mean you're not supposed to away from them. You know, you can't live uh, in an isolated place without having any contacts with other human beings. It's not easy thing as a mundane person who is living in this society. You have to have develop your interconnections with others. 
all these interconnection you have to maintain mindfully why we don't know what kind of influence will be there for your life your for your practice so don't associate police mean all the time you have to be mindful that is the another hidden thing in there mindfully understanding you know what is happening there you can feel what kind of uh, energy is there realizing all those things uh, you ready to protect yourself you ready to protect yourself this is not kind of ego egoistic thoughts this is not the, you are not developing your ego if you are develop your ego with desire anger and hatred that is bad but if you are developing your ego to protect yourself from anger desire and all these defilement that is not real ego that is your protection plan we have to protect ourselves that is our, this, this is one of our obligation as a human being we how to protect our humanity human qualities for what for to maintain to have a peaceful happy thoughts and to develop our concentration that's why we have to protect ourselves if you are engaging with unwholesome activities all the time your mind full with worries and troubles worries and troubles all the time it will engage with worries engage in worries there is no way to develop your concentration so don't associate police mean which is directly cause i mean which is directly bother to you to have peaceful happy concentrated mind that is kind of barrier that you have in your life that's why we have to protect ourselves to develop our humanity keep our qualities uh, without uh, losing those qualities whatever the qualities that you have and other things according to noble late pole path we have to put effort to qualities that you do, you don't have already to gain that qualities to yourself and also we have to put effort the weaknesses that you have to get rid that weaknesses or control that weaknesses from ourselves but you may not able to do in so in this so in so if you have foolish friends or family members or relatives or whoever rega uh, regarding their weaknesses we can see they are police people always they influence us to reduce our qualities but my goal is to develop my peace develop my happiness to develop my happiness to develop my peace police i can't get support from police person so this is this is very important and very clear to uh, very clearly you, you have to understand i am not associating police because those police people are not helpful to me to practice noble eight pole path noble eight pole path this is the way how we have to clear this one word and associate wise wise person mean who can think deeply and widely and quickly he is we consider as a wise person wise persons always help others helps others to develop their peace in a happiness they are not ready to destroy our qualities they are not helping us to destroy our qualities reduce our qualities decrease our qualities they 
are helping us increase our qualities, develop our qualities. So if you have enough wise people with you, which is very helpful to practice Noble Eightfold Path, very helpful. In Jataka stories, there was a story regarding the uh, Buddha and the Bhante Ananda. Buddha born in a family, he was a rich person and then he had a friend, very poor. Uh, that poor friend was very devout pull to the Buddha, but not this Gautama Buddha, Kasyapa Buddha. One day, that poor person, but he is very devout pull to the Buddha, he got a message. But the Buddha Kasyapa is coming to his village. He is going to spend some time there in his village. Then, as a good friend, he went to his friend and invited to his friend join with him to go to see the Buddha. That friend directly refused it. No, I have so many things to do. There is no way to go to see the Buddha. First time he refused it. Second time he refused, third time this friend came having the thoughts, today if he refuse, by force I am ready to take him to Buddha. Maintaining that thoughts, he went to his friend and same way he refused it, and, but he, didn't listen, he was not ready to listen to his words and then by force he took him to the Buddha. And then in front of Kashyapa Buddha, the Kashyapa Buddha, this friend was explaining about his friend. Venerable sir, this is one of my friends, he's a very good friend, but unfortunately he did not like to come to see you at first when I invite when I was inviting to him. So I I was invited him three times. The last time I decided myself, even though he don't like, I'm ready to take him to you. This is the way how we came here today. Looking at that person, the Buddha Kasyapa said, oh, he is not, uh, he's not a normal person. One day in near future, he will appear in this world as a Gautama Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama Buddha. The Buddha uh, Kashyapa declared his name. After that incident, that friend started to practice again perfections, following the Buddha's guidance. In this manner, Buddha was, I mean, in this story, Regarding this story, we can see how valuable to have good friends for us. Even though that person was practicing, fulfilling perfections, some reason, somehow, he did not like to, have, to see the Buddha. He didn't have desire he, he didn't have devout thoughts to see the Buddha. That's why he refused. But with the help of friends, he was able to practice his perfections again to fulfill and to become a Buddha. This is the way how we can see if we have good friends how much helpful them for us. In Sigalovada Sutta, the nature of good friends uh, is they always ready to protect us. When we lose our mindfulness, 
they are ready to protect us. When we have any wrong directions path, when we are turning into wrong directions, they are ready to help us to clean our path, turn into right directions. This is the nature of good friends, wholesome friends. So, in this very life, very important to have good friends for our life. Don't think about good friends from outside. First, you can be a good friend to you yourself, which is very important. And then you can be a good friend to yourself. Then you can share these happy uh, uh, thoughts, uh, uh, these good qualities with others. Then you will be a good person, good friends for others. Others mean it will unlimited, not just for your family members, not just for your co-workers, not just for your relatives, not just, just for your friends. You will become a good friends to whole world, the universe. Maintaining this goal, we can practice this Dhamma. This is the purpose of practicing Dhamma. Develop your Kalyana Mittata qualities as a friends those quality developing developing your qualities you can be a wise person and being a wise person we can help others for their developments maintaining this goal we can practice this dhamma i think that's enough for today uh, we can wind down this evening session for now. Uh, now we can share merits with others. First we can focus to the deities and all other celestial beings who are rejoicing these merits. Rejoicing these merits may they have happy, peaceful life, having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu. Around the world who are suffering from coronavirus or any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits, may they able to get rid their suffering, may they recover soon, having that aspiration, we can make blessings upon them say sadhu sadhu we all be well happy and peaceful whatever the wishes you have all your wishes come true by the power of this merit sir. finally may we all be able to attain bliss of happiness having that aspiration say sadhu sadhu by means of this meritorious deed May I may never I join, join with the foolish. May, may I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So from the highest realms of existence to the lowest. May all the interaction in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Good night to West. Have a wonderful day to Imar.